still enjoying an audience. Champions of the Force lined the streets of Hollywood to be among the first to see the last chapter of the Star Wars trilogy. I got here at 4 o'clock in the morning, so I'd be here at number one in line. And I am Luke. I am your father. These are my people. These sci-fi fans were thrilled to witness the surprise return of the Jedi himself. It's rare that you get to see them with enthusiastic people like this, and it's so much fun. Princess Leia, the slave girl. It's the slave girl scene. I had to get in really good shape because I had to wear the iron uh, bikini. Like the special editions of Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, Jedi returns armed with enhanced special effects. Jabba the Hutt even hired a new band. But as fans revisit a galaxy far, far away, they might be surprised to learn that one Star Wars favorite almost didn't make the final cut. This is all your fault. Creator George Lucas didn't like the voice of C-3PO and decided to replace the man behind the mask. I was a little hurt. It's, you know, it was his movie, whatever, but um, like preparing a meal for somebody and they don't eat it. Famed humorist and voice man Stan Freeberg told me that he was hired to re-record the droid's dialogue. But me and my big mouth, I said, George, that, the guy's just British. That's the way they talk over there. You want some advice? Just leave it alone. Lucas took the advice, and C-3PO became part of a film phenomenon that's winning over a new generation. It's like enjoying it again through your children, and they're the ones that are saying, Dad, you gotta go.